Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. Jumping right in, the company I will be working with is One More Hair. Here I'm going to be doing a custom color, so I'm showing you guys the colors I'm using. I do use the brand Adore and Kiss in Pink Petal and Neon Pink. Um, the wig I will be using is One More Hair. This is their 613 34 inch lace front wig. It is a 13 by 4 lace and 180 density. It does come with transparent lace. It did come with three combs and adjustable straps in the back. But here I'm just showing you guys what the wig looks like. Super, super cute, super full, super long. So I wanted to show you guys. We're going to get right into it. All you need is a tub, some hot water, your dye. And then we're going to get right into it. We're going to do the watercolor method. Those of you who have been following me know that we do this all the time. So, yeah. Um, I do want to show you guys the box and packaging. Make sure you guys have your gloves. I have a brush. And then this is the packaging that the hair came in. It is a 34-inch wig. Again, one more hair. Jumping right in, you want to fill your tub halfway with, I'd say hot water, but not super, super hot to where you can't stick your hands in there. It doesn't have to be boiling um running hot water straight from your tub should be fine that's what i did and now i'm putting both bottles of dye inside and we are going to mix all of that up you want to make sure that the water is solid whatever color you just dipped before you put the hair in there and then i like to start at the bottom dipping it in and then working my way all the way up to the beginning of the wig or where the root is so as you guys can see the color hits the hair instantly it tags on instantly which is amazing um to make sure you get an even color i hate patchy hair colors make sure you are dipping the hair multiple times don't just leave it in there once keep dipping it inside the water until you get the look or color that you're going for um i did this for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes just keep dipping keep dipping until you make sure everything is completely covered and even and once you like it um i said i let that sit for about five more minutes and then um we'll start blow drying and installing but y'all i was on live while i was filming this so i was looking at my phone while i was filming so please don't pay no attention to me but just keep dipping the hair until you get the color and like i said the consistency that you like and i use the brands adore and titanium um, I thought I was going to need all four bottles, but I ended up only using two, which was a plus for me. Um, with this hair being so long and thick how it is, I really thought I was going to need two bottles. But we did it. We got the job done with two bottles. Um, make sure you are separating the hair um, from where the back of the cap is so you get those light spots, the roots. I hate seeing where the hair is all a good color and then you divide the hair in the middle of the cap and it's super super light so to avoid that you just want to separate the hair in the back make sure you get the cap where you can see the tracks actually and then just dip that into the water like so i like to massage my fingers or um massage the dye or colored water through the hair like i said until i feel like everything was completely covered how i needed it to don't be afraid that you're going to stain your lace um, if you spray some got to be glued spray on top of your lace before we even do the um, dipping, you should be fine. I did not do that for this video's purpose just because I don't see the point in that. Um, I didn't have any problem with the dye getting onto my lace or staining my lace. I think it also depends on what type of dye you are using. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. But um I'm now I'm just going in, separating the hair again in the back, making sure I get all the color, and just we're going to keep dipping. Now, once that's done, um, I'm going to come back and show you guys. I did get a cute little one more bag, and they sent me some 3D mink lashes. I also got um, a little brochure and a wig cap. Um, the brochure has tips and tricks on how to take care of your wig. They also have a coupon code and a, a scan QR scan so you guys can scan for that. Now we're jumping right into the install. You want to try everything on. I'm going to go in and cut my excess lace off with an eyebrow razor. Those of you who follow me already know how we get down. I'm going to start in the middle and cut one side off going from ear to ear. I like to either do the left or the right side first. It doesn't really matter. 
And with me cutting the lace off, y'all are already seeing that it's already given scalp. This is a transparent lace, so we are going to have to go in and put makeup on top, which is not a problem. But y'all already see how it's giving. It's definitely giving. And I did not pluck this uh, hairline. I did not bleach the knots because the hair was 613. So we're doing everything straight out of the box, and this is what it's looking like. Now I'm going to go in with my even lace spray, and I'm going to do two to three thin layers starting in the middle and then working my way to the sides using my blow dryer in between until the spray gets to a tacky substance. And then we're going to lay that lace down like so. Once your even lace spray is nice and tacky, you want to go ahead and gently place your lace on top. You can use your fingers or a rat tail comb to adhere that down. I use my fingers, sometimes use a rat tail comb to each his own. Now I'm going to repeat those same steps on the sides, just doing a thin little layer using my blow dryer in between. And then I'm gently going to lay that down with my rat tail comb. And then once that's adhered down, we're going to repeat the same process on the other side until the entire frontal is laid down from ear to ear. And then once that's done, we're going to get ready to mold everything down with our hot comb and pull out our baby hairs. Um, don't be afraid if you see like little laces right there um, still lifting. You can go back in with your even lace spray or your adhesive, whichever one you're using, and just put a little bit in there and use your blow dryer and dab it back down. It's no problem. Quick fix. Now we all laid and secured. This hair was definitely giving me life, y'all. For this to be, you know, some bright pink 613 Easter pink hair. It was really looking real natural and scalp-like, and I really loved that. Now I'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side like so. Once that's done, like I said, we're going to get ready to mold everything down with a hot comb and get ready to do, well, and pull out the baby hairs. Now, I will be doing a side part. This is a 13 by 4 lace. So, I just wanted to do a kind of a deep side part. And I'm just pulling that out now using my rat tail comb to kind of define my part. Once you get the liking of your part, you want to grab your wax stick. And we're going to use that to mold everything down. All your little flyaways. Get the wig all nice and flat. And this cap size was a bit big on my head. I usually wear like a 20 to 21 inch circumference. And I feel like this cap size was like a 22, 23, which was fine. Um, so you want to make sure you lay all of that down so it's not looking like no helmet on your head, baby. It needs to be nice and flat. You don't want no lumps, no humps, no bumps, no none of that. You want it to look like your hair. So don't be scared of that hot comb. Take your time. Go through each of the hair, make sure you're uh, molding everything down, getting it nice and flat to your liking. And then once we do that, we're going to pull out our baby hairs and get ready to mold those down and style. And then we'll finish up this look. Once everything is flat, I'm going to go ahead and pull out my little baby hairs. I'm just going to do some little cute, simple baby hairs by my temple. 
um well you know side part and i like to go in with my hot comb y'all excuse me i burn myself <laughs> don't burn yourself take your time but i like to go in with my hot comb and um mold my baby hairs down or hit them with the hot comb a little bit just so they're nice and flat up under that elastic band and you guys will see what i'm talking about when we put the elastic band and we pull it off and you'll see how molded it down it is it looks like it's coming out the scalp and that's what you want so um, I like my baby hairs to be even, so I mimicked the my same side part that I have that I'm going to wear on the other side just to pull out my baby hairs just to make sure they're even. And then once I like that, I'm going to go in with my hot comb uh, and comb that down, just make them all nice and flat, nice and neat. And then I'm going to pull out my sideburn, mold that down like so. Then we're going to get our handy dandy Nairobi and our elastic band. Mold all of that down and let that cook up. Once that's done, um, well, while that's doing that, we are going to um, start styling the curls. And then we'll finish up this look. Taking my Nairobi setting foam, I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm just going to use that to lay down my baby hairs. You don't want to put too much because you can risk um, lifting up your lace and that is a no-no. So only just a little bit goes a long way. Once you feel them stuck to your head, that's enough. Um, I'm going to do my temple, you know, my temple uh, edges. Sorry, y'all. I just went blank mine for a second. And then my sideburns, and then I'm going to lay all of that down with a elastic band, and we're going to let that sit for as long as possible until you start getting a headache. And next, I'm going to go in with my Con Air one inch barrel wand curler. I did speed this up just for the sake of the video, but I'm going to do some cute little loose wand curls starting in the back, working my way up to the top. Y'all already know I'm going to show one whole side completely curled and then i'm going to come back with the other side finished and then we'll get into the finished look um if you guys didn't catch what uh curling wand this is i will show it up close when we get to the finished look um this is their uh con air like i said one inch wand curler i got it from dollar general i believe a couple years ago for 20 bucks and i have it on the highest setting at 30. so i just wanted to show you guys the um curls they're looking really really cute quick and easy and like i ran through this because i wanted it like a really messy looking uh beach wave body wave looking curl so like i said i'm just taking about maybe an inch width worth of hair and i'm just curling away from my face Starting at the bottom, working my way up to the top. Once we get to that side, I'm going to come back with it finished curled. And then we're going to get into these baby hairs. And that will be the completed look.
Okay, so this is what the hair is looking like once we're done curling. Super, super cute. This is what the lace is giving once we took off the elastic band. Now we're going to jump right into these baby hairs. I'm going to go in with my Kaposi mini straightener, and I got that off of Amazon. And I'm just going to pre-curl my baby hairs upwards. Then I'm going to go in with my Eco Style Gel and my Edge Control Brush and swoop them hoes right into place, baby. Now, when, I, when you pre-curl your baby hairs, that is so much easier than you just trying to make a swoop yourself. I feel like whoever came up with that method, I, I don't, can't even remember where I seen that from, but whoever came up with that method, baby girl, you set the trend right there, okay? Like, that is so easy for me to do now, and they look so natural. I love the brushed baby hair. You know, the baby hair is brushed into the uh, actual wig look like. Like, it's brushed into the rest of the hairline. It's very much giving scalp, okay? I love it, love it, love it. Once I get through with that, I'm going to go in and do the same thing to my sideburn. Swoop that hole right into place, like so. Do that on the other side, and then we're going to come back with the finished look. I really, really, really enjoyed making this video for y'all. This color was so cute. I did this for Easter. We did a nice little Easter pink. And again, this is one more hair. This is their 34 inch 613 lace front wig. It is a 13 by four lace and it did come in 180 density. Just giving you guys a slow-mo of this body, baby. Look at that. Look at all that hair. And it's super, super full. Like, you cannot see through this hair at all. I didn't get no tangling. I did get a little bit of shedding, but I expected that with hair this long. So, I wasn't tripping. It wasn't crazy or nothing like that. But the hair definitely holds a curl well. And it was super, super full and true to length. Y'all get into it. Get into it. I'm in love. Tell me what you guys think. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment something pink. Give me a pink bow or, you know, a pink heart. Anything pink if you guys like this video or like this hair. It was definitely giving, like I said. I loved it. Super cute for Easter. I was definitely giving a look, baby, okay? Was eating the girls up. And, again, this is one more hair. This is their 13 by 6. Whoa. 13 by 4, 613 lace front. And it did come in transparent lace. 34 inches and 180 density. I will be selling this unit because like I said, the cap was really big on my head. So if anybody is interested, just click um, my email in my bio and email me if you guys are want this. It is up for grabs, but it's definitely giving scalp, baby. I give this a 10 out of 10. Again, I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell so you guys get a post notification when I drop another video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.